I want to say very clearly to you as in this university that I'm so delighted that QP3902 and your sisters and brothers across the 3903 are finally taking on this question of austerity in the post-secondary institutions in this province. The underfunding, the underfunding of post-secondary education on the backs of the workers in the system has simply got to stop. It is incredible, it's astonishing that in 2015 we are still seeing the employees in the system, the teaching assistants, and across in York University, the faculty, contract faculty, delivering over 60% of the teachings in our universities. And yet, you only earn 3.5% of the total cost of running a university. But somehow, they think it's okay to exploit the workers in the system to take advantage of you after putting in four or five years in the educational system to now turn around and pay you less than the poverty level in this province. There is something seriously wrong. You are fighting for education. You're fighting for justice. You're fighting for an agenda that gives people hope. We're here to, uh, to tell the university that the, uh, the funding that they provide has been inadequate for us to uh, complete our studies. And uh, it looks like the, uh, the future of uh, higher education in this province is, is pretty dire for both students and teachers. Every grad student, from astronomy to gender studies to sociology to engineering, should be able to make a living wage. We're in graduate school in order to better ourselves, in order to make more opportunities available for our family, and the, the university's policies have made it almost impossible for us to do so. It's a real struggle, and we really appreciate um, our union, everything they've done for us, all of the things they fought for, including childcare benefits. That's been immeasurably helpful. Remember, you are fighting for the next generation. You're fighting for those kids who are in secondary school today. That's also who you're fighting for. And that's a fight that we're taking on.